I'm Johnny O'Neill, I own JC O'Neill Contracting Limited. I'm 14, maintain around 200 properties in the Cromwell area and we've got two guys working for me currently. I do school plus almost full time job so keeps me pretty busy. Johnny has always been a real leader and um, he's always been inquisitive and wanting to know how things work. Always just been that kind of kid that um, you turn around and there's a hammer in his hand, a drill in his hand. When he was about 12 and a half, he just started doing a few lawns kind of around the area. So it was more just for kind of pocket money. Then he kind of came home one day and he's like, Mum, I need your wee whacker. And I thought, uh oh, here we go. We're going next level. He managed to save up enough money to buy his ride-on and that gave him independence. It's great fun. And I feel really guilty when I don't go to work, so... Well, the first time I met Johnny, I didn't realise how old he was. I rung him through a number off Facebook, so I didn't really know what he looked like either. But then when I met him, I was like, oh, I was too scared to ask him how old he was. Yeah, it, it was quite surprising to find out that he was 14. A 14-year-old boss is not much different to a 40-year-old boss or a, or a 70-year-old boss. He comes across as an adult to me than anything else. He treats me just the same as any other boss. He tells me what to do and I do it. Previously, I had the ride on mower in the background here and uh, one of the trailers. That would get me around the town pretty good, I think, and we've never really had any issues, never gone in anyone's way, until someone decided that it would be a good idea to report me to the NZTA. I got a phone call from the Cromwell Police. They said, look, this is not a phone call we actually want to do, but we actually need to serve Johnny with papers because he can't ride. The end result of all this, is the fact that I can no longer drive my ride on lumbar with the trailer behind me down a road or a footpath, which I, I feel is quite unfair. More than anything, it took away my independence. No longer could really get myself in between jobs with all the gear that I needed. Well, I've had to go and employ another bloke. It takes a good chunk out of what I'd normally keep for myself. 14-year-old boy that's out there trying to make it something of himself and having that happen to him is a bit yeah, it's a bit shit, really. Most people feel that it's a bit unfair and something needs to be done about it. One of my parents will drive me around, but that's quite far from practical because they don't really feel like waiting around on their Saturday or Sunday. I've got things to be doing as well. The universe doesn't evolve around me. For the family and for Johnny, we've had to make a lot of changes and it's um, caused a lot of stress. Johnny has learnt so much through his business. Taxation, um, he's got his own accountant, marketing, social media marketing. Yeah, he's a, an excellent person to, to know and, and to see a 14 year old do that and be that way with his business and stuff like that, it's, it's, it's amazing. Everyone loves Johnny and I suppose Johnny's earned that respect through the community just seeing him getting up in the morning and, and working hard. At the end of the day, I don't feel that I'm any different to anyone else my age. It's the, the determination to be able to get up in the morning, go and make it happen, and then when you get home at night, keep making it happen and do exactly the same next day, day in, day out. Busy's the only way to be in my book. It's the best way to be. And it's a, it's a great feeling.